started making beats freshman year, high school. I, like begged my mom for a laptop. Got me a laptop like May of '08. First beat I made was at Topaz Jones' house. I sampled a Bobby Womack record. Yeah. I re- it's like it was like losing virginity. It's like my very first time. You remember it? It's like vivid. And I remember telling my dad I want to make beats. This nigga made me write a fucking two-page essay on why and what I could do with it. And it's crazy because uh, Topaz had brought up something y- y'all was talking about last night, and I think the term y'all use for me is methodical. And looking back. My intentions and purpose was decided and set on so early. I mean, and now I think about it, I, that's what makes like child actors and like musicians that are like super young like that either extremely creepy to me or extremely like incredible. Because like either they were forced to do that or they were like at five years old, I'm gonna sing. That's just incredible. I chose to make beats 13, 14 and was hell bent. Like, and had to prove myself. And, you know, when your, your father makes you write a two-page essay, you're like 15, it's like, it's homework. But, it's homework I wanted to do. I didn't give a fuck, I was like, bet. I'll, I'll write the two-page essay, I think I wrote four. <laughs> fuck around, like, I wasn't fucking around, G. This is meant to be. There's so much up here. Remembering who played drums on what, which drum break is which. Like we were in the studio last night. Vic was playing a beat he had made and he was wondering if it was the same break as uh, his Ghostface record. And I was like, well, the, the break on that Ghostface record is Melvin Bliss synthetic substitution. If you use that break, that's the break. These are the stats. These are the things that are committed to my memory. like. Just random shit. Me and my mom used to watch Jeopardy all the time. Yeah. So, anything kind of trivial, uh, you know, you try to like memorize certain things or just like peep, you know, just being a student and shit. It's life, really. It's like, I, I can call myself a student of music, but it's really just self awareness and trying to, you know, gain as much knowledge as possible. You know, early on, you, you got like, my parents, like my young black, went to HBCUs, they getting that knowledge is power, kind of, you know, preached. So it's like, for me, it's about learning techniques, it's about learning little things, and those all lead up to being very good at what you do. So it's like, I think part of, part of that is memorizing a lot of shit, being keen on things, and being able to recreate certain situations. It's like for producers, we always try to recreate a moment a memory, something that, you know, brings people to a certain place. So for me, it's important to hold on to those things. You lose someone like Mac, it, you know, it reminds you, you know, hold fast to memories. Like, I, I haven't lost like a, a friend or family member like that before that, and it was like, oh shit. So I said, like, time isn't real. It's just a beginning and an end. You know, you here and you going. The world keeps spinning. And it's crazy to think that, but it's like, I had a good friend tell me, you know, don't be upset that, you know, someone's going. Be happy that you had memories with them. So, memories are important. You hold on to these things. You try to recreate moments. You try to, you know, make new ones all for you to remember them. Man was a, a man of culture, a man of many laughs. It's like he made everybody feel welcome. Great friend, flat out, bar none. Like the amount of people outside of like the people I came up with that I can like consider friend and like truly looked out and truly showed love. He was definitely one of them. Yeah, missed the brother. You know. It's, uh, it's tough, but like I said, we got am- amazing memories. Hold on to those rather than you know soak as much as I as much as I would want to. <laughs> it's like you know 
the best thing to do for you know people you love is to continue legacy and stand on the things they stood on. It's like that's how we move forward. So me and Mac were talking about this is like pre swimming. This is when it's still called guidelines. Uh, so talking about like world building for our album and creating something that you know people would binge watch essentially and it was really it's really less about competing with the attention spans of people who you know binge watch tv shows and more so about having intentional storytelling and having purpose and topaz is a great example of that swimming is a great example of that and eventually when the world gets to hear my album you know, so it'll be another example of that. It's really focused. Everything's intentional. Every kick, every snare, every chord, everything is known on purpose. So it's like when you have that kind of attention to detail for something, you can't lose. It's like you're making sure this passes all quality tests. And not a lot of people do that. Some people, an album is 10 hot songs they made in the past three months. You know, some people, you know, it's a loose theme. Some people really cohesive albums. Not a lot of people was putting a high attention level to detail, you know, to not just, you know, the music, but the story being told, all the features are carefully picked out. It's like, so I, I honestly think the entire album would be something he'd be proud of. It's a, it's a work in progress, but it's something so timeless to me, it doesn't matter when I finish it. It's just a matter of finishing it. Before my OG stuff with my sister, I was like, you should check out this band Kids these days. And this is why you gotta listen. Sometimes, you know, the mentors and people are supposed to be right. They'll be right, but pay attention to other people too. People that's close to you. Sometimes they're more in the know than anybody that's supposed to be in the know. My sister told me two weeks before my OGs told me. It was hilarious now I think about it. She was like, you should listen to this band Kids these days. I see Vic, I see the band, I'm like, oh, this shit raw as hell. Me and Vic Link, sending beats and whatnot. What's the name of the festival? It's Bamboozle. Vic is about to play Bamboozle in Jersey, you need to DJ. I'm like, I could DJ it. So me and Vic play a festival, we're 17. Uh, I picked Columbia College to go to school. Link will save money. I think I did Joey's second studio session ever. And at this studio session, Chuck English is in the B room. We're in the A room. I think I flipped a Cortex sample to have like trap drums. And since then, me and Joey have been pretty cool. Uh, I feel like when you, you get on the ground level with somebody and you grow with them, it's a much different experience of being, of, you know, coming in externally and being like, uh, hey, can I fuck with you? It's like, I've, me and that man have struggled together and thrived together, travel the world now. Uh, fucking love Joey. Incredible person. Friend, father. It's my man's 100 grand. And we also happen to make really good music together. And it's crazy because like, people will, like always wonder like what's people's like, secret ingredient. It's like purpose. Know why you want to do something. Know how you want to do something. And when you go into it with such focus and such intent of it coming out good, that's what it's all about, G. At the end of the day, if you want to know, you know, people's secret ingredients, a uh, uh, secret sauce, and it's like, you know, be purposeful. Have a reason you're doing that shit. You'll love it so much more rather than just doing it out of, you know, pure emotion. Like, fuck that. And that, it's funny because, like, I was telling Vic, I was like, man, remember we used to, I used to try to make 100 beats when it was 2021. 20, now I take week breaks. I take weekends off. I'll make beats on the weekends. Everything I try to make now is with a purpose, or with a reason. Especially because if I'm not working with somebody while I'm at the crib, I'm just making beats. And it's like, what am I doing this for? I, I need purpose behind the things I do so that it can have that genuine stamp of quality on it. 